Hello everybody, welcome to Tracy Learning Chemistry videos. Today we'll be discussing about law of conservation of mass and in that we'll be covering the practice problems related to law of conservation of mass. This is the second video related to practice problems. So let's see what all questions we'll be covering in this video. 6.54 gram of magnesium carbonate on heating gave 2.46 gram of magnesium oxide and 4.08 carbon dioxide. Show that these observations are in agreement with law of conservation of mass. So when we are saying that uh, we need to prove that these observations are in agreement with law of conservation of mass, that means uh, we have to prove that the total mass of the reactants is equal to total mass of the products here. So uh, let's start the first step. The foremost step is to analyze what is given and what needs to be found. What is given? Magnesium carbonate, which is 6.54 gram, magnesium oxide, which is 2.46 gram, and carbon dioxide, which is 4.08 gram. And we need to justify law of conservation of mass. So now uh, we need to write the equation for uh, this reaction and for that we need to figure out the reactant as well as the product. So for that we have to read the question again. 6.54 gram of magnesium carbonate on heating. So that means initially magnesium carbonate is present so this is the reactant. Gave 2.46 gram and 4.08 carbon dioxide. So on heating, magnesium carbonate gave magnesium oxide and carbon dioxide. So these two are the products. So the equation will be magnesium carbonate on heating gives magnesium oxide and carbon dioxide. So now we know the equation. So in order to satisfy law of conservation of mass, we need to balance this chemical equation. Here, the rules, first of all, we need to balance the number of metal atoms. So the metal in this equation is just magnesium. Uh, on the reactant side, we have one atom. On, on the product side, we have one atom. So this is our uh, balanced. Next, we need to balance number of non-metal atoms other than hydrogen and oxygen. So we have carbon here. On the reactant side, the number of carbon atom is just one, and on the product side is also one. So this is also balanced. We don't have hydrogen atom in this equation, so we will balance the oxygen atoms now. So number of oxygen atoms on the reactant side is three, and on the product side is one plus two is three. So this is also balanced. So that means this equation is already balanced. So now we can apply the law of conservation of mass on this equation that is total mass of reactants is equals to total mass of products. Here, let us first calculate the total mass of the reactants as well as the total mass of the product. Here, in this case, we just have one reactant that is magnesium carbonate and the mass of the magnesium carbonate is given as 6.54 gram. And we have two products here. So the total mass of the products here will be mass of magnesium oxide plus mass of carbon dioxide. So uh, this will be 2.46 gram plus 4.08 gram. So this will uh, come out to be 6.54 gram. Uh, you can just see here that it's coming exactly equal. So uh, what does this mean? We know that as per law of conservation of mass, the total mass of the reactants is equal to total mass of product. So in this case, the total mass of the reactant that is here, we just have one reactant is 6.54 gram. And in this case, the uh, total mass of the products has also come out to be uh, 6.54 gram. So as the total mass of the reactants is equal to total mass of product, so this justifies law of conservation of mass. So this equation is in agreement with law of conservation of mass. 
part one ends here. You can watch the second part to view other questions in this video.